Welcome to Bacon's Books, where I discuss the nonfiction book that I'm reading, any interesting takeaways, and whether or not I would recommend the book to a friend. In today's episode, we'll see how Jon Snow saves London. The Ghost Map by Steven Johnson. This book is a deep dive into the cholera outbreak of 1854 in London. So if you're looking for a good pandemic read, this is a great one. Uh, this isn't the first time this has happened, so it's sometimes good to look at history. So to give some context about the story before we get into it, it's important to understand what London in the Victorian era was like. So we're talking the 1850s. Now, London was certainly a metropolis at this time. I think it said there was a population of like 2.5 million people at the time. But think of two and a half million people in a city without any of the modern conveniences that we have in a city now. So no electricity or lights, uh, no refrigeration, no running water in your house, no like waste management or sanitation system. So think of two and a half million people living in close quarters, but with none of the things that we rely on today to kind of keep sane and, and uh, help us stay healthy and safe. During this time, uh, there was not the type of scientific rigor on, on how things worked and there wasn't so much of experimentation so people relied more on spiritual answers or kind of like voodoo almost to try to determine what was causing certain things so they even blamed like uh, antisocial behavior and uh, economic class and a whole number of things were used to explain these different diseases and where they came from. So in this context comes our hero, Jon Snow. And he is a doctor. He was actually a pretty big deal even before this cholera outbreak. He was an important doctor. He attended to members of the royal family and had published a number of important articles. He was a pioneer in the field of anesthesiology. So he was one of the first people using chloroform to, to basically knock out patients to do medical procedures. So he was already sort of a big deal. In the late uh, 1840s, uh, Dr. Snow becomes really interested in cholera and what causes it and how it spreads because at this point cholera is not just in England, it's all across Europe and when these outbreaks flared up, it was a huge emergency where it's kind of all hands on deck trying to discover what the cause is and how they can stop it as quickly as possible because it was uh, really devastating to the communities. So Dr. Snow determines or creates his own theory on what's spreading cholera and it's against what the commonly held wisdom of the day which was on something called miasma which was basically like poisoned air I, I think. So they just think like the stink in the air that was what was causing the, the disease and if you could isolate that maybe you could get away from it. What the insight that Dr. Snow had was that Cholera was a disease that you seem to swallow and not breathe. And he could, looking at the data, he could kind of determine that water was most likely the, the main transmission of this disease. So people's water source, when they shared water, that sort of thing. So this is why Jon Snow is such a hero in the story because he's able to use data and analysis and just rig rigorous science to dispel kind of like the popular wisdom or the ignorant ideas of how the world worked at the time. The big breakthrough that Jon Snow had was when he created, we would probably call it now like a data visualization, but basically what he did was, uh, so there's this, the big outbreak in 1854 is centered in one specific neighbor of London in the Soho neighborhood and particularly around Broad Street. And so Snow draws a map kind of like a bird's eye view map and starts putting check marks next to all the houses where somebody has died. So these are all the, the mortalities of the, the outbreak. And something when you look at the map, which they've got in the book, something becomes immediately apparent in there. The 
deaths or the check marks are all very concentrated geographically. They're all along one road and specifically near one water pump. This particular water pump on Broad Street was uh, responsible for spreading the disease. And then there's one big anomaly because right on that street was a brewery and the brewery had zero cases. So Snow investigated and what he found was the people that work at the brewery and even some people that lived there, they were immune to the disease because they didn't drink any water from the public source. In fact, they didn't drink much water at all. They were drinking beer all day. And by drinking the beer, that was clean and they were able to avoid uh, the cholera. So when Snow creates this great map, which is the ghost map, he is able to convince enough people, enough of the authorities that he's got the answer and there's a dramatic scene in the book and they shut down the water pump and they remove the handle so that nobody can use it. And this action effectively ends the outbreak and he's a hero. He's a national hero. He uh, solved this problem using uh, data and analysis and part of it was not just solving this one problem but it's also pulling the whole field of medicine into modernity saying no we're not going to rely on just what we thought has been the case what we're going to rely on is evidence and data and if you can prove something by analyzing the data that's where how we make decisions not just based on how we've always done it or based on some kind of uh, other idea that has doesn't have a lot of evidence to back it up so i'll give this book a coveted five out of five bacons. This is a really excellent book. I loved it. Uh, it's one of my favorites of all time, especially for pandemic reading. Uh, it's actually kind of an uplifting story about how science can overcome ignorance and just tells the story in an interesting way with, with many applicable lessons to now and, and any other times. Have you read any good histories lately or any good relevant uh, things for today to think about let me know in the comments below thanks for listening if you like this video and want to see more please subscribe to the channel also check out my instagram bacon in redondo where i've got a bunch of other book reviews and i'm making more videos uh, every day here thanks for hanging out and i'll see you next time